Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Wolverhampton Wanderers Career Mode in FIFA 19. This is what we have been waiting for, the first Champions League game of the career mode after the unbelievable run that we had last season. All I wanted to do was to find a way into the seventh spot to try to find a way to qualify for Europe. My initial expectations were just to try to get Europa League and they pretty much were throughout the entirety of last season. But right up until, uh, right up until the end where we went on that unbelievable undefeated streak, I went, hey, we are actually a shout of getting top four. We pulled it off and now we're in the biggest competition in club four. We don't just have the first game of the Champions League to play, we've got a game against West Bromwich Albion, which is actually a rivalry game between Wolverhampton Wanderers and West Bromwich Albion, so we're playing that one, that's another little spicy game that will get out of the way. We've got a Carabao Cup round uh, of maybe it's 32, maybe 16, not sure, but against Huddersfield we'll probably skip that one only because we have another massive game in the Premier League to play and that's away at Old Trafford. I'm going into this game with the exact same starting 11 as well. I'm still playing Anderson, Talisker and Martial even though they're a bit tired and the same starting 11 as I always have because even though the next game about two or three days later against the, you know who, West Bromwich Albion is going to be a rivalry game, I, I have to make sure I get off to a good start in the Champions League. It's crucial with the first game in the UCL against Lokomotiv Moscow. Let's go, boys. It's finally time. Rest in peace to the Champions Cup. This is the Champions League, and it's come to the Molyneux. A late afternoon game in the rain as well, so maybe not like the bright lights of the Champions League we expect, but still the first big game of the season for us in this competition. Once again, our starting 11 unchanged in this game. We are going to have to make some big changes for the West Bromwich Albion game, I know that, but we'll take a look at Lokomotiv Moscow's starting 11 as well and some of the names that they've got in there. For example, uh, uh, Manuel Fernandez is in there. I think I saw Howard S. So their back line has got some decent names in there. They've got Smolov, they've got Fernandez, Mario, yeah, Mario Fernandez, like we talked about, Korluka. Uh, Krishal, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but of course the bloke that was at PSG for a bit. They've got some good names in there. I think I saw Eder on the bench as well, but we're underway with our first Champions League game. Well, Neves. Thought he was going to get dispossessed there, but he kept it somehow. I saw Anderson Taliska make a move, and then the header. That's a big save. I'm not going to go for it from there. I'm going to cross it back. Another big save. And, oh, my God, the keepers bailed him out. Well, that's going to find a way to Martial, who's then going to cross it. Taliska didn't get enough on it there. But Neves. Oh, my God. I thought that was the first. Adama were playing a deep one. Oh, that's got over the top. Excellently. Nice stomp down. Piece of skill. The cross in. This could... Oh, sheesh, it's off target again. Martial, you see the stomp skill move from Adama, and oh, I thought that was going to go, I was trying to, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll, I'll come clean. I was trying to go across the face of goal into the side netting to shoot toward the right of the goal. Instead, it just went pretty much straight down the middle and over the crossbar. I'm going to try something special here. Oh, it's not going to get there. Cleared as far as Taliska, who has a shot, another save. I'm putting these too close to the keeper. I've got uh, Diogo Jota down here. I might have to make a substitution. Maybe, yeah, this is not good. He is out. He is down. And I am going to have to bring Ivan Carvalero in at left wing. And that's one for substitution made. Thankfully, he's not too bad of a backup for us. but uh, And he can. He is a right winger. But yes, he can play on that left-hand side with four-star weak foot. So it will do okay for us. But um, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Paradise is still not going to get a chance to shoot there. I'm hoping Taliska will make a move at some point. Still no. I've just got to work it backward because I've just got nothing to pass to up ahead. Maybe here, though. Maybe here. Yeah, it's opened up nicely for Talisco. I'll put it wide again. Oh, my God. The finishing is letting me down today big time. I thought this was a pretty good hit. I thought It looked like, oh, it's just gone too high, actually. I'm going to have to take off Anderson Talisco. Maybe not straight away because he is quite tired. So we'll have to lo we'll lose him at some point in the half as well. Oh, big tackle by Johnny. Look, they've got... No one back here. Running hard is Adama. This has to be... They're catching me quick, though, but it won't matter. Finally, Adama. He gets clipped by the goalkeeper on his way through, but it's finally the first. Gosh, how many attempts did we take before finally taking the lead? Adama gets us in front. There we go. That's, that's finally... That's what we wanted to see. There we go. And there's the tackle from Taliska. He's so tall. He's got those long legs. Love it. And... Anderson, Paredes, still going to fall for him nicely here. Oh, that is ridiculous from Taliska to find him. And then the cross, he's going to maybe have another effort. Yes, he does. Oh, it's Martial now with two. 
Oh, come on, boys. We, 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 we surely should have been up in front before half time, but at least we're getting our chances and converting them now. You gotta see the through ball from Taliska. It won't go back that far, but it squeezed between two defenders and then we nearly crossed it back for him, but they, they headed it away only as far as Anthony Martial who had to spin and shoot and the keeper was there, nearly blocked it with his face, but Martial found the top corner. We wanted to start our Champions League season off with a win. We might just be able to do that if we can hang on here. Dennis, oh, I'm charging forward, trying to get someone in the way. Oh, that's... Oh, they've got one. Smolov gets one to make it interesting in these last final minutes. Well, okay. Let's, let's just make sure we've got numbers back. I'm going to go defensive. I'm going to try to hang on to possession for the rest of this game. I'm trying to hold them at bay here. One minute of stoppage time. They might get one. They might get one chance. They're going down this left-hand side. If we can just stop the cross from coming in. I've double-teamed him. Who is marking Smolov? I, I swear I was trying to grab a player to drag him, and he wasn't even fucking moving. He just stood still. He stood perfectly still. Do we have time? They, they scored in the fourth minute of extra time when, they're only, when they only got three as well. And we're not going to get a chance to attack. Fuck, you, you let them get a little bit extra time than they should have gotten. Why don't we get a chance? All right, well, we, we've fucking found a way to draw this game instead of getting a... Instead of... It, sh it should have been a wrap. We should have won this game. I fucking can't believe it. I think those missed chances in the first half have come back to bite me in the ass. I don't fucking believe it. Diogo Jota's injury too. That game was just a farce. Fuck, man, how did this all happen? Gio Diogo Jota is out for two months now, so we're not going to get him back until maybe December, January or something like that. Well, despite the amazing start that we've had in the Premier League, we're top of the table after five, just five games, but still top. We uh, do not get off to the greatest of starts in the Champions League, even though I thought we dom we, we did. We fucking dominated that entire game. Can't believe they've just gone and snatched a result like that. A lot of my players are going to be really tired too after that last one, so we're going to have to rotate quite a fair bit for this game against West Brom. And I really want to make sure I can get at least this win with it being a rivalry. So, fuck, man. So, some changes being made for the game. That's that's for sure. We've got Carvalero and Jimenez starting up forward now. With Adama still keeping his spot, even though he's a little tired. We've got Parades and Neves. So, those centre midfielders are in. Uh, Taliska is on the bench. He's got to start on the bench for this one because he's just too tired. Fernando can start. Johnny, Bolly will come in. Kyle Walker-Peters will start at right back. He is almost the exact same overall as Ruben Aguilar right now. So I, I think very soon Walker-Peters will get the starting right back spot. Patricio is obviously going to be fine for the game too. But this is this. This is it. With a slight change to our team and with some of our better players on the bench if we need them, we're going to have to come up big against West Brom. And apparently it has just been raining non-stop right now. I swear to God, this is must, it must be going on for a week. But after the really disappointing... Uh, result in the Champions League. We've got to come out with a win here. Hopefully we can make them wish that they stayed in the Championship. We need a, I need a big win. I, I, after how it all went down in the last game, I'm so I'm so filthy. We're, we've at least got to take control and make sure that we don't let our, sh our lead like that slip again. It is, but I don't have anything to go to. Adama to the right or to the left again. Sorry, Raul Jimenez. Oh, Adama's there. It's got to him. Dragged white. Oh, God, come on. I can't have the same first half that I did in the last ep in the last game where I just put every single shot off target. Good interception from Naughty McKeelay. Not really who I was going to there, but it could work. Oh, but being caught by Neom. And oh, sheesh, that's not where I was expecting it to go. Running forward here. Naughty. Oh, Matt Phillips. Save. Look at the deflection. Rondon scores. 1-0. Oh, you're fucking joking, right? I think my left back pushed forward. That's why he had so much space. And then as I was chasing down Matt Phillips, he got a shot off. Or no, he got a pass away. It saved, bounces off the guy that initially took the shot, and then falls for fucking Rondon to tap it into an empty net. Their first move into the box, and he gets a fucking tap in off a deflection, of course. Raul Jimenez's touch, it's no good, but it's come off of the referee and ended up back in our possession. I'll tell you what, West Bromwich Albion will be filthy if we score right here, and that's what I'm hoping happens. Herodes, I'm not going to shoot. Maybe not yet. Maybe now. Deflected and blocked again. Where's my deflection that goes right back to one of my guys for a tap in? When do I get that? Another back heel. Fuck me. Through again. Neon with the cross. I'm trying to get someone in front. Chadley's got a second. When they when they cross a ball in, 
I try to get my players to move. They don't ever fucking run at the same pace. They always just jog or stand fucking still. And of course, beaten in the air. I knew that was going to happen with Kyle fucking Walker Peters. This is fucking disastrous. And they always get us down that left-hand side. Johnny, what in the fuck are you doing? Tackle. Oh, big, big one by... Oh, come on. This has to be... Net, yeah, come on. Finish this one calmly. Cavalero, 2-1. No way he was missing that. Okay, we got a really big uh, turnover in their own half, almost in their own third, really. Nicely placed by Cavalero, and we're in this. His first goal of the Premier League season as well, so it's a big game to get it in, and it's a goal we needed. Oh, big turnover again. I may have made a mistake here. I don't think I have. No, I think we're okay. I think Cavalero is here. Oh, my God. He's hit the post. Can you fucking believe it? But... It's okay! I think it is! Yes, it is! It's 2-2! I absolutely butchered the charge with Carvalero, but Raul Jimenez has tied it up. Oh, I don't believe it. The header comes off of, yeah, what, uh, Fernando. Carl Walker-Peters knows nothing about that, but he's got himself an assist, like, hilariously. Jimenez turns and nearly saved by the keeper, but it's in. There we go. We had a shocking start, but we've been able to get it right back to level pegging within about 10 minutes or so. Little one there. And out to the right, Adama. Low crot. No, no, no. I wanted to go for fucking... I think it's Carvalero there. Man, I could have had a chance to have scored a goal to put us in front right before half time. I could have been 2-0 down and within about 15, 20 minutes gone and taken the lead before half time if that ball was going to the player I was trying to get it to. But oh, all right. At least we've tied it up. Adama's trying to get to this. Oh, he's done it as well. Who says pace is dead this year? Maybe it's not. Maybe it is, actually, when Raul, Jim oh, Raul Jimenez ran past the fucking ball. And when I go to change his momentum, he just ran. Oh, my God. Tell you what. Fuck me, Raul Jimenez has been shit. He's been absolutely shit. Neves with a big tackle here. The fake shot. The finish. Oh, I wanted to go for the near post a little bit more. Nearly a great individual goal. Back to Johnny. Little pass here. And then a run. Look at it. Open up the middle. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, he's done it, Ruben Neves. Takes the lead in this rivalry game. And Bournemouth... Oh, my God. How did this not get blocked? I really expected it to. But it's found a way through them all. Oh, wow. That's a deflection that's going to work all right for him, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, they're through. Mikile, can you not see? Crossed in. Header. Oh, and thankfully it's not going to deal or not going to get past Rui Patricio. I'm going defensive, as you can see. we got numbers back behind the ball. I wanted to try to kill them off when I had the momentum, but now I've got to play it safe. I can't let what happened last time happen again. Matt Phillips is starting to move it very quick. One-touch passing. I've got so many numbers in the way. Can someone make a tackle? They cross it in. Every time they do that to Kyle Walker-Peters, I get nervous. Tackle from a dumb... No, maybe not. Maybe just a clearance. Can we pick this off? Yes, he can do it, but he can't direct it toward Martial. Townsend. I'm dragging out Anderson here, but a big tackle. I'm going to play it up the line. Adama. Oh, into the middle. That's a cheeky one. Neves here. Can we hit him on the break? I don't think we're going to get maybe a chance to. Neves back to Matinho. At least we've got it down the right end here. And this could be the maybe, maybe the moment. No, it's not. And blocked. Oh, at least we got it up the other end. And that will probably do it. They can knock it up forward quick. But they're not going to get another chance. We come from 2-0 down. A shocking start to find a way to win. When I was actually nervous, I was about to drop a 2-0 win with five minutes to go in the Champions League and a rivalry game. I was going to lose to West Bromwich Albion. Recently promoted West Bromwich Albion. We find a way to survive, and we thankfully continue our undefeated streak in the Premier League. It's an undefeated streak throughout the entire season, though, isn't it? Because we haven't lost any cup games, and we haven't lost any Champions League games, so we're still very much... Uh, we are still uh, undefeated throughout the entire season. I do wonder, though, if that's going to change in one of the next two games we have coming up. Huddersfield in the Carabao Cup and then Manchester United away. So big games coming up. At least this one I'm going to simulate, so it's out of my control. Pretty confident Huddersfield went down this or last season. So it, they're a Champions League side. They've probably been gutted a bit. They're probably a little... No, at least not as good as they were last season. It doesn't fucking matter, does it, though? Even when we're at home. Even when we're at home. It's a 2-0 loss and out of the Carabao Cup like that. Of course, I start going on about an undefeated streak and how well we've started the season. And that's when we immediately lose our first game. It is only in a sim game though, but it still knocked us out the Carabao Cup, which is annoying. Still haven't been able to make a deep push in any real cup competitions as of yet, sadly. But I don't know. At least we're bloody doing well in the Premier League throughout the entirety of the career mode. 
But now for one last game in this episode, one last game for the month of September, and then we'll start going month by month by month for every single episode. And look, I know I've already caught my, I've now caught my first L of the season, but I, I can't go two for two, please. The starting 11 is now pretty much fully fit. Look, across the board, isn't it? We've still got Carvalero playing at left wing in the absence of Diogo Jota. Because I feel like he's now getting uh, a lot more game time than he has in the past. And he's done all right for us so far. He's even popped up with a goal or two. So he's going to stay in for this game against Manchester United in the last game of September. Can we keep, now that is an undefeated, now the undefeated streak is only limited to the Premier League now. Can we keep it going? Manchester United in 10th. Wouldn't you believe it? That's basically where they are right now, isn't it? But the top of the table, Burnley, West Ham, Chelsea's up there. Everton and Stoke City. Bizarre start to this Premier League season. Even if we only are six games in, Martial comes back to the old Trafford. Wow. Manchester United, yes, they did bring in Sergio Roberto, Bailly, Smalling, City Bay at left back. Pogba, Matic, and Fred in their midfield. Lingard, Lukaku, Sanchez. Wow, what a team. I'm feeling a goal for Martial against Manchester United as well. I've, I've got to pull it off. And Manchester United get us kicked off. Here we go, boys. Martial, you need to have a big, big day. And he's immediately dispossessed Paul Pogba. That's not a bad start. Not a bad way to get things... Oh, my God. Could it be? Cavaliero. I'm going to step in here. Can he finish? No. It's going to fall to Adama. Oh, my God. It's another amazing opportunity to score with our first attack. And it's not Adama, sorry. It's Taliska. I got confused by the, uh, by the, uh, by the hair, unfortunately. They've got the same blonde hairstyle, so occasionally it gets me mixed up, even though the Taliska is like, <laughs> clearly like, like, what, four, five, six inches taller. Wow, look at that. I go to clear the ball, and it's just stuck to fucking Fred like nothing ever happened. Unbelievable. Now Vezo can see a gap maybe starting to open up here. Martial, Neves, the crossback stick here. The scissor kick! Oh, that's beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous finish. Whoa! Is that Leandro Paradis's first goal for Wolves? And he's pulled that off at Old Trafford. I uh, And to start this attack, things got a little bit confusing. But we crossed it back over. And Paradis with an amazing finish. Jumping up. The scissor kick. Robert, it just flies past Sergio Roberto's face. And what a finish. There we go. 17 minutes in. We take the lead. Martial with a big interception off Paul Pogba again. But he couldn't keep it. Oh, Lingard steps in front. Tried to slide around there. He took a long time to make contact. Yeah, I was fucking... I, I fucking knew that was going to happen. Oh, he scores. And then a few minutes later, picks up a red card. I was trying to slide tackle to swing around Lingard there. You see how long it takes for him to go through him as well. It's only because Lingard stops running, stands still, and on the follow-through, he clips him. It's fucked how that's a red card. If you're going to give it a foul, then fine. But, like, no, that's bullshit. I really should stop going for tackles like that because you never know what sort of slide tackle animation you're going to get, though. And most of the time, it's just the one that lands you in hot fucking water anyway. All right, well, now we are down. Slide tackle missed. Even Carvalero trying to find plays open. We might have it here. Yeah, we do, baby. Oh, we needed that second. We needed it big time. Oh, terrific. And now I can go down to defensive knowing we have some breathing space and try to maybe not completely shut up shop, but at least... Make sure we've got numbers behind the ball so we can deal with it. Martial is winning the ball back for us every goddamn time. It's brilliant. Oh, I'll tell you what. Look at the right-hand side here. Wow, we can go quick. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him behind Cedar Bay, though. Miss with the slide tackle. Adama, the cross in. Oh, it has to be. There it is. Martial against his old side. That's what we came to Old Trafford for. You beauty. It's tame celebrations. He's not sticking his hands up or anything. There is a celebration there. 3-0. The run from Adama. Cross back in for Martial. That was pretty close to De Gea, but he still finished it off. And it's three when we're down to 10 men. Mourinho's got to be getting the sack now, for sure. For sure, man. I mean, I know we're uh, well on top of them in the Premier League right now, and they're in 10th after a few games. This is a very similar start for Manchester United in this career mode season, as it is in real life. And Martial returning and scoring in the first half. He's been brilliant for us so far today with his ability to win the ball back and, and, you know, causing problems and just doing bits, really, in general. But now he's on the score sheet. It's an amazing return. I've played him on, I've played him on here. He is onside here. Ruben Neves. 
touch, finish. It's four. It's four. It's four. It's four. I saw the run of Neves and I'm like, I think I'm going to end up timing this perfectly. I've done it. It's 4 nil. We're down to 10 men this entire time as well. Ever since we scored the first, we've been down to 10. And we're 4 nil up against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Ultimate difficulty. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes I just play around with the AI in, on ultimate difficulty. And then other, and then other times, I'm going to concede two goals in five minutes to bottle a Champions League win. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Shambles from Manchester United, but brilliant from Wolves. Even, even, if, even without Paradis. I can't believe it. Yeah, I saw that coming. Not really gotten in front, though. And Aguilar. See, he can leap up high. He can deal with the cross. Oh, man, that's not a good touch. Ah, uh, Adama's not done well there. Kovacic and... Sheesh, I tell you what. Oh, that is a costly poor touch from Adama. Too much space up the middle. And that, it, even though we've been able to clearly deal with being down to 10 men for a while, that you can very clearly see is down to having one less player on the pitch. Well, there goes the clean sheet, but somehow I, I still think I'm going to find a way to win this game. I think I should manage. I mean, I mean, I know I bottled a, the, I know I bottled the Champions League game in this episode, but uh, I think I should be fine. I've still got the three goals to hang on to. I don't think we'll have time for this attack. I don't even care if we don't grab another one. Just want to make sure that we uh, get out of this. Or maybe we could get one more. No, but why? That's okay. I'll take the 4-1 win. It could have been 5 if we had got that one, but he had a man all over him. So I'll, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that missed opportunity. I tell you what, Mourinho, if this wasn't a normal... If this wasn't FIFA 19 career mode, you'd get the sack. You would get the sack 100% after this. To score, uh, and then to get a red card, and then to let the team down to 10 men score 3 more on you, to beat you on your own turf 4-1, you'd be out. I don't care if we're on fire in the Prem, you would be gone. And... Again, what a win. We scored three goals against Manchester United at Old Trafford with just three, with 10 men on the pitch. Also, by the way, the stadium was packed to the brim at the end of the game. That stadium would be empty. It would be half empty before the whistle went, I swear. But the next game is in October. We will leave it there. We have the monthly scanning updates to get through really quickly, and then that will be that. And I'm also going to have to see how long my uh, injury or the injury to Anderson Taliska is going to roll him out for. It's going to be two weeks only, so he'll still miss a big game against Atletico Madrid at the Wanda Metropolitano in the Champions League coming up, the first game in the next episode, so we'll have to make do without him. But now for the Youth Academy players, nothing really super promising in uh, in Scotland. Can't really say the same for anything in England either. Sam Harris, probably the best of the bunch, maybe Hugh Price as well, but... Uh, I, nah, not even, not even. I've got some pretty high standards, but even if my standards weren't that high, I still don't have an awful lot. I mean, we've got Barry Rafferty, maybe. Value is uh, not great. Potential's okay, but uh, nah, I still, no, like I said, super high potentials this year, uh, or super high uh, expectations and standards this year. So even a player like, you know, Barry Rafferty last season, I probably would have snapped him up. No, you have to have at least, like, uh, value that's close toward half a mil and your potential has to be minimum 80. I swear that is the I'm only looking to sign like uh, Like the best of the best to keep from filling up my squad list, but we're done for this episode We will have a big big game in the Champions League to start the next one off with this game against Atletico Madrid They're actually currently out of the uh, out of the top Two, but I mean, like, we're one game in, so who really cares? Looks like they drew their game 1-1 with Fenerbahce. So everyone right now is just on the one point. We're only in the top two off goal difference, but that's that. Until the next episode, guys, my name is Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.